Good morning, boys and girls. Strap those kids in. Give them a little bit of vodka and some cherry cola. We're going to Oklahoma this morning. Weather is perfect. Let me just show you what I'm going to load. You know the great thing about Oklahoma? You can add anything to the end of Homa, and it sounds pretty good. There's Chulahoma. There's Texoma. As long as you got Oma at the end, you got a pretty good time. So we're going to Stalker Homa today. Blue River, Oklahoma. Let's see what all we're taking with us. We gotta get this right now because uh, these kind of windows don't open very often. Best, best is pretty good because you can love what little you need, including water. Great. Change of clothes. Change of clothes in case you get wet. This is a waiter. This is waiter country now. We're going after stalker trout. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, got your waders. Gotta have waders, man. It's cold. Water's cold. This is Blue River, Oklahoma. Boots. You know. Oklahoma can get snotty, and I don't mean like the people, I mean like the rocks can get snotty. So, if you got some good boots with some spikes on them, that'll take care of the snot. And it's not so bad. There you go. And, you know, there are some leaves probably on the water, and those leaves hide holes in the rock, solid rock bed. So, it can be very, very treacherous in the Blue River. All right, we got our scuds. Don't need them. Taking them anyway. Yep. Panfish, you know, panfish flies. And, you know, just in case I get bored with all the stalker action. Do need, might need those, might need them. Here we go, we got our, this is a good box right here. The woolies, the woolly boogers. Need thousands of those. Now I make thousands of them. <laughs> what else we got here? Terrestrials. Terrestrials are pretty much dead now, but um, you never know. They'll eat almost anything. They're stalkers. I don't mean stalkers. Stalkers. Okay, here's your reality check. The only thing you really need in life in Oklahoma. Buggers. Just some woolly buggers. Some homo, booger homo. We're going to booger homo. And wherever I've got some, oh, here we go. Oh, oh, got a few of these laying around. The most sophisticated fly in the world today. The mop fly. You got to have some mops around. Those are killer flies, man. I hate to say it, but really are. So know your regulations when you go to Oklahoma, of course, and leave everything behind except your woolly boogers and your mop flies, because that's all you really need. And oh, crackers and peanuts. Crackers and peanuts. Got to have food for the road, man. Oh, we got something new to show you today. Let me get this out and show it to you. Get some more coffee here. Something new from the MeasureNet company up in Idaho. I want to know how else are you going to know how small your stalker trout really are? I kind of don't like this in a way because now. There it is for the world to see how small these fish really are. It's called a measure net. <laughs> We're gonna measure these fish. Oh, I like this. This is really nice. See that? Got the measuring inside the bag. Let's see how this works. How does this work? There it is. I don't know how it worked. We'll figure it out along the way, but. You know, you normally don't need a degree in science to see the numbers in there inside. 
Zero. <laughs> We're gonna get past zero today, I hope. Let's see how this thing works, it comes out. I don't know, I'll have to figure this out and let you know. Because, you know me, man, I don't read the directions unless I really, really have to. Oh, look at that extends and everything. This is great. Oh, I think these, this is a smaller one right here. This is the one you're really gonna need for Oklahoma. It's the little one. Let's see what size this is. This is the, oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Man, the measure net got me here. JTA Products, Danby, Montana. So I'm not sure where these are coming from exactly, but it says Danby, Montana, Darby, Montana. Excuse me, Darby, Montana. So this is size really does, <laughs> size really does matter. This is the medium with the, then that's a rubber net. So it's not the cloth thing. It's actually black rubber, which I'm a fan of, of white color, but you know, look at this one, man. It holds its form. It's got a deep, deep um, basket to it that's gonna be good i like the smaller one a lot handles right there there's no extension confusion for simple minds like mine let's take that with us we'll leave the big one behind because uh, i'm not that i'm not that good <laughs> all right guys the only flies you need mops and boogers load those kids up <laughs> maybe give them a little bit of value no i'm just kidding this is uh song called Choctaw Bingo that I'm quoting from. Anyway, here we go, Oklahoma. All right, guys, we're almost to Oklahoma on 377. That's what takes you out of uh, North Texas and up into Oklahoma. And we're gonna pass over Lake Texoma. Woo! You saw that video last week, right? And uh, then we're going to make our way up to the Blue River. The wind's howling out of the east. I'm expecting a wet front out of the west, so the wind should change at some point. We're just gonna wait and see uh, how that turns out. North-south winds are the worst on the Blue River. East-west winds can be bad, but they're not as bad as north-south. So anyway, here we go. Almost there, boys and girls. All right, guys, a few things have changed in Oklahoma since I was here last. <laughs> it's been a while, but Hey, this is one good thing about the difference between Texas and Oklahoma. You can get your prescription filled. Or, or, or you can get a pizza when you got the munchies. Oh, I don't know, it was right after Trump got elected. Whoa, it's a bad road, you see that? Very bad. Came out here and uh, pulled up, walking to the parking lot, talking to Went to a guy going the other direction, talking to him. Right after Trump got elected. Hey man, how's it going? He goes, oh, it's great. We got us a president now. I was like, okay. I, I have no opinion on that, you know? I didn't say anything. Then I got to kind of looking around and, and then this parking lot that I was in and plus the next parking lot up after I, I'd walk waited up there. A lot of Confederate flags, so. That's, uh, you know, just carry some ID, you know, make sure you can prove you're an American. Not an American, but American. And uh, enjoy yourself. Don't be a Texan. Just be a fisherman. You know, the, the great new thing about Oklahoma, the great change, one of them, is uh, you can get your prescription filled, just like I showed you a minute ago. So there's that. But anyway, we're just riding on in here. Haven't been here in so long. Yeah, it's just crazy town. We'll just see how busy it is. I usually start with a really mellow spot where nobody's around and then kind of work my way up into a, into a more crowded areas because it probably will be crowded even though it's a Wednesday. All right, guys, here we go. All right, guys, so we're pretty far downstream. What we're gonna do, we're just warming up down here. But uh, like I said, I've said a million times, it's a pretty beautiful place here on Blue River in Oklahoma. Here's a, here's a look at my first stop right here. Oklahoma, otherwise known as Stalker Homa. So we're gonna see, you know, right now, this time of the year, it's December, like early mid-December. Fish may not have been 
stock down this low or if they they aren't stocked down this low they start at the bridge because that's where everybody fishes and kills fish so we're just going to see if anything's out here and go from here what do we have here people Trout, trout. Stalker. Caught one right over there in that little. <laughs> I'm not used to trees. Just I caught one right over there in that little pond behind me. Just a little bitty drop off. I'm gonna try another little drop off. That means I've been falling down in here. So I'm pretty psyched about that. That they're actually in these small, tiny areas. Let's see what happens we're right here. A little bitty area right there. See that? And the stocking truck just drove by fresh Oklahoma stalkers in Stockerhoma. So we got stalkers coming in here right now. We'll go down and take a look. <laughs> this is so bad. It's like a bear catching fish out of the air. So when I analyze the situation, Look right back over there. Right back over there. That looks like a good oxygenated area. We're gonna give it a try. Stockerville! Stockerville! So I want to show you something real quick. Here's something you have to watch out for out here. And it's this right down here. That, those leaves cover up holes that will break your legs. So you got to be really careful. If you got a wading stick, you're better off. So you can just poke your stick and see how it if those leaves are solid and rock solid underneath or if there's a deep deep hole that fits the size of your foot half broken of course there's a pretty simple stalker home rule that is if you feel like you've pounded a place down you got to move so we got to move we'll go back up to kill central or somewhere else further down just for the heck of it i saw where they dropped the fish here with more Oklahoma stalkers. All right, guys, we're going from the parking lot here. This is the major catch and kill area. So we're going from here. Not any cars on a Wednesday. Going from here down to the low water crossing where the fish are. We're looking for a late afternoon bite. It's three o'clock and uh, the sun's going down fast, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot. It's right here at the low water crossing. Check this place out. I'm gonna turn this around. Alright guys, we're calling it for this part because I don't have the right flies. I pulled out a bully booger and it was rusted out. So you might want to check your flies before you go. Make sure they're not rusty from lack of use. We're going to go look at the catch and release area and see if they've improved that at all. And uh, get home just after dark at 30. Forgot I had these, but 
none of these none of these boogers are the right size and they don't do me justice so we're going we're gonna go look all right guys where we are today right now i'm checking out the catch and release area now that i've been here that most of my videos you see if you check the old videos they're shot up here in catch and release these fish are much bigger slabs up here slabby smart caught fish and you can't take them until march 1st and then you know here's the rules here's the rules right here no disorderly behavior people do not be disorderly anyway so what we do is we go through there usually what we do i do is take a bicycle it's about a mile ride up and just check out the old videos it's a mile ride up there and then you can drop in and man there's almost nobody there most of the time there's nobody here today in the parking lot but i want to see if on the other side is another parking lot that allows you to uh, act, or in a drive that actually allows you to drive up there instead of riding a bicycle or walking a mile in waders or whatever so anyway this is it catch and release area blue river here's the rules of the road Here on the other side of the river and uh, there's a road for sure but it's uh, it's not accessible so they've got the gate on here it looks like a brand new gate too so my best dreams are crushed again another sign here right there <sighs> okay this day is over but we can ride up on our walk up right here. So I'm, so I'm wondering what this pathway is like over here compared to the one over there. The other one's pretty convoluted and the, the river's is right there on this one. So I'm very curious about this one and see if maybe, and there's a great fall just right over there. So we're gonna have to come back, park on this side and see where it goes. I'm, that's my goal, is to come back over here and, and hit this side and uh, hit the catch and release coming up from this side, which is the east side of the Blue River in Oklahoma. All right, guys, let me write you an ending for this. Uh, Blue River, Oklahoma. You might call it Stockerhoma. It is the best stalker fly fishing of rainbow trout that you can do within 100 miles of Dallas-Fort Worth. Or more. <laughs> 200 miles. Better than Blue... Blue River is much better than um, the thing... The, the, the fiasco now that they have over in Beaver's Bend, Broken Bow. I call it Benbo. Anyway, it used to be good. Now it's not. But... Here on the Blue River, I'm still learning. So, biggest problem I had today was I, I could have slaughtered slaughtered um, the uh, stalker trout at the the low water crossing, but I, my boogers are all rusted out, and the ones that were good. And then I went and looked in my box. I must have tied those when I was two years old. Uh, they just didn't look like I would eat those. So I'm gonna have to go back. Take what I learned in the interim years. Those those boogers have been sitting there a long time. Get rid of those and tie some more woolly boogers. Size 10, size 12, brown, green, and black are the three colors. that That's all you need. That's all you need, really. And uh, there's a couple other fun flies that uh, you can i'll tell you about maybe in another episode that's it from the blue river wrapping it up thanks for watching guys like and subscribe texasflycaster.com for the written word see you guys later bye